Okay, this video is for anybody who is looking to do any kind of modifications on a 90cc or I think any basic size as long as it has a reed cage. The, this is a two stroke motor, but uh, I think it works for four stroke also. But I think it's more beneficial for two. At any rate, uh, this is a reed cage. Uh, I just took it apart and it would normally have this piece right on here. I took it apart and put it on the side over there. Uh, just two screws that go right in to this hole. And then they come stock with metal reeds. But uh, I went and picked up some boys and carbon they're called Carbon Tech reeds for the Polaris 90 CC model. They're, they're, uh, they're not called Boy. They're made by Boyson, but at any rate, they're forty dollars shipped to your house. I couldn't find anything else for Polaris. Uh, Athena didn't make them. Uh, another brand made them, but they were more money than that even. And uh, I wanted the low low tension. I got the low tension. They have uh, different types, a stiffer one, I think, and a low tension. And low tension is for better throttle response uh, at the beginning when, when you hit the gas. At any rate, uh, I guess if I would have did my research a little better, I might have... There's a, there's a mod I've seen online where they cut this bridge out here. They just cut it out, and then they get a different reed that covers the whole thing. And that would free up a lot more space. Uh, what I'm showing you is I sanded the one side already uh, just to try to smooth out some of the transitions and make it thinner. Uh, as you can see on the one side, I just took that reed off. There's a little bit of a lip there and a little bit of a lip there. And on this side, I sanded it off so there's no lip there. there. And I also made the bridge thinner uh, while not removing any of the original make sure I got the right side here. Yeah, this is the side I shaved. Yeah, I left, you could see the deposits from where the reeds sat. So, I'll, I haven't covered the, the carbon text of the same size. Wow. Actually, that was... Yeah, this is the, this is the side I didn't sand yet. I'm going to sand it in this side. I don't know if it's too dark in here. I don't know if you can see this. But at any rate, I also sanded on the top here, as you can see. I just basically looked at the reed to see where I could let more air in when it opens up. Uh, and sanded that with a little sand dremel thing. And this side I didn't do yet. I think if I, I don't know, I probably would have liked to remove the bridge altogether, but I took out approximately, uh, pro approximately almost a millimeter on each edge, maybe a little less, about a half a millimeter. So on the one side here, I took out a half a millimeter on this side, half a millimeter here, half a millimeter here, and a half a millimeter here. So that's two millimeters I took out of that, and then I sanded this up here to make a smoother transition, and I elongated this a little bit. But again, uh, I'm not sure if it could be done, but I would have loved to take the bridge out and just buy one reed that would cover the whole thing. But I don't know if that how that would affect the performance, or if it wouldn't open, or if it would be too tight. But at any rate, uh, I'm going to put it in and see what happens. That's, that's it for now. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I'm back. I did the other side now. The edges, and I took some out from each of the five, well, I guess it's four sides each box. So I took some out here, some out here, some out here, some out here, uh, and then here, 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 and here. But if you could see where the reeds cover, there's still some markings left. Uh, if you take out where the reeds cover, your engine won't run right. It'll, uh, won't run right at all. So you do not want to take out, uh, past where the reeds sit. 
but the bridge was pretty, you know, a lot extra thick. And uh, considering a sixteenth of an inch is one point five eight eight millimeters, so like one point six. So I probably took a little over two millimeters out of this entire thing. Uh, you know, all, including all sides, all sides on this. Probably two millimeters, like half, 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 half. But I think I said that already. But at any rate, I'm not sure which is the biggest blockage for my Polaris 2004 two-stroke. So I started to just try to, I'm going to sand up this and make it smooth, but there's a Venturi effect, but it's only 16 millimeters in the middle of this carburetor. Uh, it's, it's a 19 millimeter but it's a Sun World or something. Uh, it came off my Polaris 2004 that I got for the kids for Christmas recently. And uh, so I'm, I'm ready to throw it out anyway. Uh, I was looking on eBay and everyone's selling fake Keens and fake Kumos and Okos and uh, anything real is at least 70, 80 bucks. And it's a kid's quad and they don't really care. So I'm just trying to make it faster cause, probably because I got nothing to do. Uh, so, I've already made it faster, which is another video, uh, the beginnings of it. But at any rate, I'm going to continue this video. But I'm going to I'm going to pull this out a little, keeping the Venturi, uh, because the slide does have some extra room. So, uh, I'm going to keep the Venturi, which is a thinner area in the middle of the carburetor. Uh, it has to be thinner, otherwise the fuel won't get pulled up from the low pressure. I'm not a guru on this stuff. I'm just a dad. I bought a quad for a kid. And uh, the quad was real slow, so I'm doing a bunch of things to it. And I have another video on what I did to be to the beginning of it. Free, like free mods and cheap mods. Okay, so I'll let you know how this turns out. Bye. Okay, so I decided. Uh, I don't know if this is a Makuni. It says like Sun Sun World or something on it. So I'm guessing it's a piece of garbage anyway. But. Uh, I was going to buy a new one, but like I said, there's so much money, so I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to bore this right now, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Something happens that doesn't work so good, then I'll just buy another one, which I was going to do anyway. But at any rate, uh, I took I took about a millimeter. You have to keep the Venturi, which is the thinner part. So what I did was I took a millimeter all, all, over, all around out of it, at least a millimeter. So I started from the outside, took a millimeter from out here, and then I took a millimeter from the inside. Uh, so all in all, I enlarged the whole thing, and I smoothed this down and took some out and uh, got hit, hit it with some fine sandpaper, and then it'll be done. But I'll see how it works, and uh, that's how I'll take you outside. All right, so I'm outside at the uh, 2004 Polaris. I put the carbon fiber reeds on, like I said before, and uh, I did remove a few millimeters out of there. Just to give you an idea of how small things are, uh, 16 millimeters, which was the original inside of this carburetor, is like a penny, and uh, 19 millimeters, which is supposed to be the outside portion, here is uh, a nickel. So... That's the size of a nickel. 24 millimeters is the size of a quarter. But uh, at any rate, I checked this boot because I'm trying to find out where the biggest restriction is. Uh, and it might be the reed cage, but I'm not sure. But I did take some millimeters out of reed cage, so that might open that up a little. This boot actually has a, a smaller inside di diameter, but in actuality, it's actually larger than than this outside diameter it's actually a, it's bigger than a nickel and a nickel covers the entire face of this including the metal part so uh so i don't have a the restriction won't be in that little bit of rubber that's sticking in the boot uh it's pretty easy to get the reed cage out it's just there's a few bolts right under here right under that little plastic thing comes right out they go on pretty easy uh, I don't know how I'll let you know how uh, the performance gain on my $40 carbon reeds um, and 
I'm gonna do. I'm doing another video of what I did to begin with to the squad to even make it uh, as fast as it is now.